that is cleaning up. Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in California at the Palomine and Ocean View. We're looking for tourmalines. Let's check it out. You can see these huge crystals that actually come out of this property. They have this one for sale. So if you ever want to come check it out or come dig here, this thing is huge. So we had our safety talk and now it's time to dig some tourmaline. And look right here, there's already a quartz crystal. It's not crazy, but it looks like it might have some color in there. Let me see here. Look at that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, clean that one up a bit. And look at that. You can see the pink Montmorillonite. Really cool. Finding some purple Lepidolite, which is really cool. And I'm actually getting a little bit of green tourmaline. You can see there. But check this out. As I'm digging, I just seen a face of a quartz crystal. Look right there. So let's see. Ooh, this is a good size. Okay. Oh, it's on the main. Oh, <laughs> dude. Hey, no way. Oh, sweet. oh, 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 oh man. Got some iron oxide wow, it's actually got that. Uh, what's that stuff? What do you say? No, uh, the lapidolite. No, the, oh. the clay. More. Montmorillonite. Montmorillonite. Mont, 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 <laughs> At this location, as you can see, and this piece cleaned up, it turned a pink color. It got stuck in the last layer of crystalline growth. What? And occasionally you can find lapidolite, which is purple mica. It's really beautiful. And we've got a piece right there. Look at that. You can see the purple colors. Really neat. This would be all the good lapidolite that we found throughout the day. It's a lithium-based mica and from this location turns purple. Look at this. It's a pretty good size pink tourmaline. Maybe we'll put a little water and clean it up. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's cleaning up. That is watermelon Beautifully. Tourmaline. Look at that. It's actually a watermelon tourmaline because you've got a touch of green. So we're going to call it that. Yep. But look at the color. Beautiful. What a great find. Oh. Congratulations! Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's a really nice quartz crystal. Look how clear. I know. I didn't there know. There you go. Yeah. So Tina finds this really nice large chunk of pink term. Look at that. She said we could wash it off. Look at this. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, oh wow. look at oh, wow. that. That's awesome. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. That'd make a nice cap. Yeah, it would. So came across another quartz crystal here. Look at that. Let's see. This one's just milky, but still pretty cool. You can see the beautiful colors of the variety of tourmalines that come out of here. Look at that green, pink, watermelon. I mean, look at that chunk. Oh, look at that. It's got the green. Wow. Sweet. Appreciate it. Washing up the finds from the day. Look at that. Look at that, just right off, you can really see the purple lapidolite come to life. Really cool, just finding that stuff was fun, I'll tell you what. And you can see all this black tourmaline, some of it probably having some green color, quartz crystals. I mean, this is so much fun. This was actually mine and my nephew Dylan's finds for the day. I think it was like four hours, five hours. 
something like that. Don't quote me. So I'm going to have to clean up a few of these pieces. So I'm going to clean these up. We're going to hit these with the needle sprayer. Let's check them out. To my surprise, the blue really started to show up on these with a little bit of green and pink. I didn't see much with all that dirt. Even the tourmaline, look at that. Lapidolite mica turned out super purple.